Hey guys, this is Melinda and I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry all of this in 20 minutes or less. So to see how I go from this to this, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I start with my catwalk by TG, I believe it is, uh, their blowout bomb. Uh, honestly, I got this a really long time ago and I still probably have like more than half of the bottle left. Um, and I just love this smell and it just really helps with like my ends right here that look a little dry and parched sometimes. Okay, so I just take about a dime sized amount of that product on my hands and just kind of warm it up in between my palms and then work my way through more of the ends of my hair because I don't really want to uh, make the top of my hair greasy but at the end I'll just kind of lightly um, work it on the uh, more frizzier parts of my hair. I almost just want to leave my hair like this. It's not very often that I get a nice curl after I take a shower but I'm gonna film this a little bit. So now I'm going to section my hair uh, towards the crown of my hat and I'm going to put half of it up and leave half of it down and we're going to start uh, that way. So I will be right back. Okay, so now I've got about half of my hair up and now we are going to go ahead and get started. So for this video, I'm gonna be using my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. Um, I have a video on a review about this product and honestly, I really don't use much else. I used to just blow dry my hair by hand, typical blow drying brush and my blow dryer. And this is just way more time efficient. I really just don't have time to spend that much time on my hair anymore. So this just really is the tool that cuts the blow drying time in half. You have three settings on here. You have the cool, the low, and the high, and I'm just gonna be using the high. But yeah, let's get started. Thank you. 
so now I'm gonna go ahead and release this little clip I've got in the back of my head and release all that hair that was back there and just kind of make sure that I didn't miss anything. I have really thick hair. This isn't even like what it used to be, but um, it can get pretty overwhelming sometimes. So I already see right here there's a little spot that is a little more wavier than I would like it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over this section right here. you can do with this is one thing I thought is that I would have to sacrifice this curl that I would like to do when I blow drag my hair at the bottom of my hair and sometimes if you go and get blowouts they'll do that as well they'll put like a nice little curl on the bottom and it's like my favorite part about having a blowout um, you can still do that with this um, there's just a special technique that you have to do. So typically if you go and get your hair blow dried, we'll do this little motion right here where they'll take your hair, they'll blow dry it or run it through, and then they will roll up the blow dryer while it's on, and then they'll release it, and then they'll blow dry it up again, and then you'll hold it in place for a couple seconds, and then you'll do a little twirl motion to release that section of hair, and it will put a pretty little curl on the bottom. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult to do because it makes your hair a little more straighter um, than it would if you were doing it by hand. So I'm going to show you, if you didn't already know, how I go ahead and take some sections of hair to give it a bit of curl on the bottom with this. I'm just going to put it on low since my hair is already dry and I really don't want to do a lot of things. Like a pronounced curl but honestly it gives me a little bit more volume here at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this section right here because I especially like that um, curl back for the front pieces of my hair okay so now that my hair is all blow-dried I see that I have a little bit of frizz going on right here at the top especially so I'm gonna take even smaller amount than I did to begin with. I'm gonna rub it between my palms and then I'm just going to lightly push down on these little frizzy pieces and then work it through these bangs, brush it through. And honestly, like this balm just, if I hadn't used that balm right now, I would have a lot of frizziness going on down here as well. And it just gives it like that really smooth look versus if I used, um, nothing which is honestly what I usually do which is probably horrible but I've never been someone to use like thermal protection or anything like that because I've honestly never found one that worked for me that made a significant difference um but yeah that's it guys uh hopefully you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching